Color guard, attention. Audience, attention. Color guard, forward, march. Color guard, hold. Color guard, prepare to post the colors. Post the colors. Please join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Reform. Color guard about face. Color guard, return to post. Color guard, halt. Color guard about face. Color guard at ease, audience at ease. I'd like to thank the Alva Boy Scouts Troop Number 392 for doing the posting of colors 
And we will now have Reverend Kearns from the Friends uh, Church of Alva, Oklahoma, give the benediction. Let's pray first. Lord, thank you for a, a day we can come and, and remember those who have given their lives for, for us. You gave the greatest example of that by sending your son Jesus, allowing him to die on the cross in our place, but giving us victory by rising from the dead. We honor you today and those who have given their lives for us. Thank you, Jesus. There's a passage in uh, Hebrews 11. That's the, the famous passage that, that we all know as the, as the chapter of faith. It is uh, Hebrews 11.13. In uh, the NIV, it says, All these people were still living by faith when they died. I really like the King James Version. It says, all these died in faith. Just a simple example that the people in the Bible, not every one of them got to see the, con the conclusion of what was going on in their life. Uh, they lived by what God had spoken to them. They lived by the word they, uh, they read. And they live sometimes in the middle of the word. But some of them died still having the faith that it, would, that it would continue and that it would be accomplished even after they were gone. Uh, Hebrews 12 reminds us that since we have all these people that have died before us, and it's as if they're... A, a great cloud of witnesses, it says, let us throw off everything that hinders and the sin that so easily entangles and let us run with perseverance the race marked out for us. Let us fix our eyes on Jesus, the author and perfecter of our faith, who for the joy set before him endured the cross, scorning its shame and sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. Philippians 4, 4 through 9. Rejoice in the Lord always. I will say it again, rejoice. Let your gentleness be evident to all. The Lord is near. Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything by prayer and petition with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Finally, brothers and sisters, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if any, anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about such things. Whatever you have learned or received or heard from me or seen in me, put into practice, and the God of peace will be with you always. Important words for today, what's going on in our world, but also important words every day for the people that have gone before us as we remember them. If they have given us anything to think on that is admirable, that is worth praising, something good, let's remember them in that way. And we thank the Lord for their sacrifice and for his sacrifice for us. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, before I give my spiel, I would like to once again thank the Alabama Boy Scouts, the American Legion for their support, uh, Chris Garvey for uh, the Sexton, for the Alba Cemetery for his assistance and Arden Chafee for organizing this event. He asked me to say a few words, and 
when I think of Memorial Day as a history teacher, before the uh, family disagreement we call the Civil War, uh, there was no such thing close to Memorial Day. But because of what the nation went through in that event, after the Civil War, families began to gather in the spring uh, to clean graves, to pull the weeds, to do what was ever necessary, and even cleaning the tombstones. And eventually that became what we today call Memorial Day. And it is in honor of the men and women who fought for our country and were not able to physically come home to their families, and they did make the ultimate sacrifice. So I want you to kind of think about that as you go about the day. Now, we don't do it anymore, but you know, people don't come up and throw out the picnic blankets and have a picnic by their family graves, that type of stuff, but we still do celebrate Memorial Day and try to honor those that made the ultimate sacrifice. And before we depart and the rain begins, down at the pavilion, there's a map now of the blocks of the cemetery. And so if you're trying to find somebody, that's a place to go and find the blocks. Uh, most of my family is in block C, block one, and block two. Uh, so I don't know why they changed the pattern, but at some point they did. And we want to thank the Marshall Funeral Home for paying for the map and the chafees for the installation. So I hope you have a good day. You get to spend some time safely with your family. Be sure to wash your hands and wear your mask. Mine's in my pocket. And uh, go forth and have a wonderful day. Thank you for coming.